Friday night, the Army volleyball team hosted Colgate at Gillis Fieldhouse. The visiting Raiders broke a 17-17 tie to take the opening set 25-23. It would be another close one in set two. After tying the set at five, the Black Knights took control. Teeing it up will be Willis, kept alive by Colgate. Pfeiffer plays it deep, where it's dug out by Jarka. Now right side to Vasquez. That one goes through the block attempt, and Francine Vasquez with her fifth kill gives Army a two-point lead, 7-5 to five here in the second set. Vasquez checks out. Lauren Wood comes in to replace her and serve. And that one will go in for an ace for the Hawaiian. Lauren Wood as it was misplayed by Lexi Finger. Another service ace for the Black Knights. Lindsey Young comes back into the match. She replaces Finger. And now Young will serve. Vaccaro fading away. We'll go cross court. Jarka teed up and driven down. Margo Jarka. Kremen playing it forward. Pfeiffer had to play it back. That one dug out by Vaccaro. Wood will set up Mankus on the left side. And another kill for the junior from Lyle, Illinois. Ariana Mankus coming to life here in set two. She gives Army a 10-point lead, 20 to 10, as Jarka will continue to serve. Army even the match at one set apiece thanks to the 25-13 second set win. In the third set, the Raiders would again hang around early before the Black Knights would put the set out of reach. Fee. Vaccaro, left side on the slide to Wilton. That one will touch in, and Megan Wilton with a great touch to the far side. And now Army back out front by four, 15 to 11. Jarka up to Vaccaro, slide to Willis on the left side, and it was driven down. Rachel Willis now with five kills in the third set. The Black Knights would win set three by a final score of 25-17. But Colgate answered in set four, jumping out to a 14-6 lead. Trailing 19-14 late in the set, the Black Knights would rally to swing momentum back in their favor. It'll fall down and go hit for an ace. Alicia Dotson right on cue brings Army to within three, 19-16. Two handed over by Colgate. Here's Vaccaro, right side Vasquez will touch it over. He'll be falling down for a kill and Francine Vasquez and the rest of her teammates using the touch shots to their advantage. The Army Black Knights now one point away from tying up the fourth set. It's 20 to 19, Colgate. Here's Pfeiffer over her head, left side. Dug out by the right shoulder of Vaccaro. Here's Mankus, left side. Blocked down and we're all tied at 20. McCarthy dug out by Fee. Vaccaro cross court to Mankus again. It'll fall down and Ariana Mankus has given Army a two point lead. But after breaking a 23 all tie, Colgate would force a fifth set with their 25-23 win. Early in the set, both sides played to the match's 24th tie at 4-all. Mankus continued her strong play to put Army out front for good. They'll go off the biceps of Jarka. Right side to Mankus will touch it over right between two Colgate players and Ariana Mankus, now with 20 kills in the match, has given Army a one-point lead at 5-4. Played up, though, by Dyer. Jarka. Vaccaro, right side, Mankus fading away and falling down for another kill. Ariana Mankus, 21 kills tonight. Army with a three-point lead, 7-4 to four over Colgate. We had been working hard at practice. We had been, I don't know, just kind of kind of running our plays, just, just playing our game, really. That's what it came down to. Anytime we weren't playing our game, we fell behind a lot. And then anytime we did, we not only, I mean, we'd come back from huge deficits. Cause Colgate's a great team, for sure. And so being able to play like that against them tonight was definitely a good thing. The Black Knights took the match with a 15-8 fifth set win. Jarka finished with 16 kills in the victory. First of all, like thanks to the defense because without their digs and their great passes, we wouldn't have been able to do anything. But um, it was just, it was great. And uh, there were a couple good ones, you know, that I was pretty excited about. But all together, the team just, we hit well. Um, there were some struggling moments, but which is why we went to five. But... I don't know, it was just, it all clicked tonight for moments for me, so that was nice. Head coach Alma Cavacci was happy with her team's scrappiness against the Raiders. Oh, very proud of the team. They played really hard today and they played with passion and determination. I got to give credit to Colgate. They came here prepared and they wanted this match and uh, they're a very well coached team. And at the end of the game, I told the coach that's, the, that's what the Patriot League Championship match should look like. And that was truly amazing to see a great volleyball game. Proud of the, all the, the team, but specifically, uh, I thought Margo did a very good job today and I thought Francine Vasquez uh, hit very well today. The Black Knights return to the court Saturday when they host Bucknell.
First serve is at 4 p.m. Reporting from Gillis Fieldhouse, Rick Johnston, ITT Excellus Night Vision.